All right, so everybody's having issues with the rear braid trigger, thinking it's rear braid's fault for messing the spring up. They believe that they need to do some mods to the rear braid. They need to make a Gen 2 and all that. I'm here to tell you, you're absolutely wrong. It's all in the bolt carrier group. Yes, you do need to tune your buffer to your gun, your buffer weight, whether you need a H2, H1, H3, or whatever, whether you got mid-length, whatever SIG gas system you have. You do need to tune it, but you also need the right bolt carrier group. Now I'm going to show you the difference between the two. They're both full bolt carrier groups. Full auto. Alright, here's two different bolt carrier groups. Uh, this one's American Resistance Gear. This one was is mine. Uh, Jeremy, they're all outside talking. I'll come in here to do some visit. This is his bolt carrier group. This is his lower. I don't know what bolt, brand bolt carrier group that is. Uh, may go to his channel and ask him. All right, the big difference is that's him outside texting me. I told him to be quiet. This one measures the gap in there on your full auto bolt carrier group is 2.280. Now that's the bolt carrier group you want. This bolt carrier group nothing they're they're both all full auto bolt carrier groups inside here we have to get in the right spot 2.272 2. 2. on this bolt carrier group now let me show you what the difference is with my bolt carrier group and my upper with his his lower. Now we noticed uh, a lot of y'all are talking about the uh, sluggish or or the the bolt carrier group staying back if you're not feathering it. We were having that issues with this, so he said let's try his bolt carrier group, and he did not know the difference in length okay this is your little that's that's what trips your that's what trips your deal you don't want it going over 20 percent there's a video on that also i don't know where at but you don't want that going over 20 percent now how you know your bolt carrier group isn't cut out long enough okay see how it's see how it's in there it's not letting it go down now, if your bolt carrier group, if you're having to push that a little bit forward for your bolt carrier group to work, then you need a, a 2.280 gap between there and there, or drill out yours to that dimension, and your upper and lower will go together that easy. So, uh, I think that's why a lot of y'all are bending y'all springs and you're blaming it on you're blaming it on rare breed and you've got an out of spec out of spec bolt carrier group if you'll take and grind that till you get the distance of that one the 2.280 i think you'll be fine i think you'll quit damaging your dongle spring whatever you want to call it i don't think you'll have to drill out your rare breed all that i think that's the major fix uh jeremy has with this lower he's He's ran thousands of rounds through his, so it's pretty well tested. Uh, go check out Pre-Dawn Death. Uh, the arguing on the rare breed on the YouTubies is is kind of kind of interesting. You don't need a special gas block. You don't need. You do need your buffer weight, like I said, to get right. But after that, now this one will only work suppressed with the H2. It's a mid-length gas system, so whatever that means. I don't know. I don't know if I need an H1 without the suppressor. I don't know. Anyway, thanks for watching. We anyway, he brought me a lower to try out with my 5.56. Five, five, uh, we've had some issues with the carrier. Yep. So with the rare breed or inbreed, as we call it, uh, sometimes the carrier could be a little bit out of spec, even though they're all full auto bolt carriers. Sometimes they could be a little out of spec. And then you can get a lot of issues with the dongle on the inbreed trigger. 
And if you do that, you start messing up the spring because you only want that dongle on the inbreed to travel 20%. If your upper will not close on the lower with the rare breed trigger, then you definitely need a different carrier or you need to take a little metal off the back of the carrier that strip trips the dongle. Pretty controllable. Um, at first it's wanting to rise, but I think the suppressor helps a lot. And uh, pretty controllable. I uh, really appreciate Predom for bringing this lower down for me to test out. Um, I know it's a long drive. I do appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. See you next time.